All right, everyone. Let's see. Hopefully everything works out here. Um, I'm currently in a hotel on one of the islands here in Seattle, Washington, enjoying my my birthday right now. And you know, I'm actually at Port Hadlock, and I picked this up right here. I picked up Port at Port. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully my my audio is working out. I can see it on stream, but can you guys hear it? Would like to see some confirmation from the audience here. Zark says, exclamation point drink means take a shot. Nope, not today. I think I've had my fair share of alcohol today. <laughs> Zark says, oh, Hacktoberfest shirt. Yes, this is the QMK Hacktoberfest shirt. You guys can see that. Let's see, Archery says, are you good if not a little quiet? Here, let me pump up the audio a little bit. Mic test, mic test. Mic test, there we go. There we go. Let's see, Mr. Pirulito says, Feliz com complianos. Don't know what that means, but maybe that's, that's welcome. <laughs> Who knows? Prime time says, happy birthday. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, let's see. I've been here for a couple of days now. Just been touring all of the wineries, all of the cideries actually, because my wife doesn't really drink wine. She drinks cider. So yeah, that's what we did today. We've just been hanging out and one of the wineries that we visited actually had port. So I was like, why not? I have not drank port on stream for the longest time. So here we go. I picked this up. This one is from Marrowstone. It's called Mystery Bay Port, and it is a combination of muscat, actually. Like, they threw some muscat in, in here as well. Um, yeah, this was probably a really good port. Like, I'd, I'd say this is one of the best ports that I've tried, so I'm looking forward to drinking this on Tuesday. See, everyone's saying happy birthday. Thank you so much, man. Archery says the wife is okay with you streaming. Yeah, she's just, she's just reading, reading a book here. The hat made it on the trip. Of course, if I'm gonna stream, I need to wear this hat. So, okay. So I I, I was actually thinking of not bringing it and using, um, what's that filter called? There's this, there's this filter on Snap Camera which puts like a hat and a beard on me. So I, I actually considered doing that, but I was a bit concerned that it would take too much processing power. So I was like, nope, don't want to deal, deal with any of that. <laughs> Let's see. Who who is here tonight anyway? I'm seeing Archery Pro, a better player, Ridwan Kenobi, Kangpa, Crazy Boy, Mr. Piruluto, X Reaper, Nefert, Rez1023, Primetime, Reset Makes, Zark. Thanks guys for all joining in. And of course, of course, drinking something different from Steam. This is a Starbucks cold brew right here. Um we can't really find a coffee shop here. <laughs> so so we ended up going to a shell station and this was probably one of the coffees th that we picked up and it's surprisingly good. It kind of tastes like a frappuccino but not that sweet. More more coffee flavored than like anything else here. Let's bring it closer to the camera here. Not sure if you guys Oh, it can't focus. Oh well. <laughs> So yeah, let's get the show on the road. Um, not gonna have any music tonight just because I couldn't get that working for some odd reason. So you guys will just have to bear with me or maybe I can convince my wife to sing in the background. Ha. She says, ha. <laughs> yeah, I guess she won't sing in the background then. All right, let's say, let's, let's go. Let's, let's start with the show. Let's see, what should we do? I see a couple people following. Bottles up, thank you. Thank you so much. And who else, who else? I saw a few, I saw Rock Doctor 6 and Kiha. Thanks guys. All right, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully this works out. Hopefully this works out as usual. Um, wait, that did not work out. Let me fix my window capture. <laughs> Let me fix my window capture really quick. That should have done it, absolutely. Like I said, this is gonna be a, a, a scuffed stream, so hopefully, hopefully we'll get stuff in place here. 
<laughs> what happened? Why are you why are you not showing up? Uh, 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 let's see. Let's actually switch it to studio mode, so I'm not showing random stuff. Boom. Oh, there we go. Actually, it, it did work for some odd reason. All right. All right. This should be good. This should be good. All right. So for those of you who are new to the show, this is not how it normally looks. I am traveling. But what we do is we talk about group buys that are ending first. We'll start with keycaps, followed by keyboards, followed by group buys that are starting. Also keycaps and then keyboards. And usually at the end of the show, I invite the audience to remind me of any group buys that I may have missed, because I usually do. There's like, I think there's like 15 things I'm talking about today and I'm bound to miss at least five. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Um, here we go. The first group buy that is ending this week. Oh, I do want to mention that I think this is the first week that I've noticed where there is a group buy ending every single day. Yep, from Sunday today all the way till Saturday, there is a group buy ending. So pay attention, pay attention. All right, first one up is on Dixie Mac. This is GMK Minimal, and let's let's try and paste this into chat right there. This one is expiring today, I believe. Is it expiring today? No, it's actually expiring September 2nd. That's changed, awesome, awesome. Let's see, okay, if you guys have never heard of GMK Minimal before, you are kind of late to the game, but this is one of the cheaper GMK sets that's been coming around. This is round two, actually. This is, this is good for a TKL board with 65% and 75% covered as well. And check out that price, $99.99. However, I do have to mention, if you guys caught my key cult build this past Saturday, I find that black that black on white keycaps tend to make boards look a little bit cheaper than they are. In fact, people were commenting that the key cult I built looked like an alt. Um, someone said it was, oh, another KBD67. But yeah, just, just keep that in mind. If you buy a minimal set such as this, that it may tend to make your board look a little cheaper than normal. And Static Age, I see you subscribing at tier one on a four month streak. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So yeah, um, you, you can get the standard set for 99, edition for 30, numbers for 34. Here, I'll show the whole thing to you guys right there. Yeah, and as, as mentioned down here, you are good until September 2nd. But as usual, since this is a GMK set, expect delivery probably next September, just to be honest, just to be honest. <laughs> See, Janky says, any keeps this week? Stay tuned and find out, because I just started the show. <laughs> All right, next, next group buy that is ending is actually SA Oblivion V2, all the way on drop, link going to be posted in chat. Once again, right there. You can get quite a few of them, or quite a few kits actually, as typical with with SA, but if I were you, if I were you, or if you were me, I guess, um, I tend to like the lighter alpha, so I would pick this one right here. This one, the white, the white alphas and the dark modifiers, like so. Here, let's take a look at this. Let's see. Yeah, this is a double shot SA set. I will have to say that Signature Plastics is also backed up, so it's not gonna be like your typical four, four to five months. I would say this is closer to a year as well. However, drop, drop is usually fairly ambitious. Look at that. Yeah, this, this is probably the one reason why I like this set. It's got Git modifiers. Um, of course, I would prefer it in Cherry Profile, but you know, might might just have to get this one, we'll see. But as I was saying, drop is usually fairly ambitious and I think they're aiming for a, 
Let's see, where is that information? I don't have my notes today, guys, because I'm operating off of a MacBook right here. Once, one screen stream. Here we go. There, there we go. Estimated ship date is March 29, 2021. However, do expect at least a month delay. Very cool, very cool. Um, I might pick this set up, actually. Just because as much as I hate SA, I really, really like the Git modifiers, and I really do like the colors. So once again, that is SA Oblivion Round 2 by, by, Oblitsky, by Oblotsky. Check it out if you guys are interested. Next group by that is ending, GMK Bento. I'm actually in on this right now. GMK Bento. Um, GMK Bento is probably one of my favorite sets that I regret not buying. <laughs> this this is one of the sets that, like, looking at the renders, you're like, that that looks nice, but maybe not nice enough to buy. And then I saw this. I saw this at a meetup, and I'm like, shoots, totally should have bought it. <laughs> so yeah, I. I joined the group by probably the second day that it was announced. Yeah, I am personally going for the traditional base kit along with the seafood novelties. No, wait, I'm going for the salmon novelties. Those are the two that I'm doing right now. Um, I did not do any of the Rama keycaps just because I've got one Rama cap and it doesn't really go on anything, so I figured why waste my money? <laughs> there we go. A better player says, I type on zero degree boards, so I love SA and MT3. Cool. Did I, did I end up getting Amalfi? No, I did not. All right. Once again, that is GMK Bento. And yes, Novel Keys is one of my sponsors, but my, my, my wizard discount code won't actually work on group buys or on pre-order, so, so sorry about that. Let's see what else. Next, next up is Cat Iron. This is a set that I like. It's a set that I absolutely like. Rock Doctor says, why don't you like SA? Just because I feel like I can't type on it. I can't type as accurately and I can't type as fast. There we go. This is Cat Iron on TX keyboards. Check it out. Cat is also one of those key sets that has a bunch of kits. Check it out, guys. If you click on this drop down, there's so freaking many. And I realized you guys can't see the drop down. <laughs> so never mind, but um, just, just looking at the drop down here, there looks to be at least 20 of them. So just take my word for it. But there, there, there are so many. All of the kits cost less than about than, than 50 bucks. Um, I'm personally going for the rusted alphas and the, here, where's the other one? Rusted alphas and the text modifiers like this. Those are the two that I will be going for. So let's see, when, when is this expiring? Shoots, where are my notes? There we go. Group buy ends tomorrow, tomorrow evening. So if you guys wanna try cat and you have a cool $120 to burn, this might be the set to get. Once again, that is cat iron. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm personally gonna buy this, especially since it's, it seems fairly affordable. So alphas are 32 and the modifiers are 52. For less than a hundred bucks, I can cover one of my boards. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right. Next board or next key set is also on TX keyboards. GMK Omi. As some of you guys know, I really like the color blue and I'm the owner of GMK Mizu and quite a few other blue sets. Um, this one I'd say is kind of on that same spectrum. Really, really want to buy it, but trying to limit myself to just 
one or two keycaps a month, if any. So let's see, this one for the base kit, you can get this for 135, so kind of on the more expensive side in terms of GMK. But if you look at the novelties, look at that. Novelties are 48, extensions 30, and of course you've got your optional, optional dust mat and Rama 1U and Rama entry keys, just like so. Better place that sell GMK Mizu, it goes for like 400. Why would I sell something that I really like? <laughs> Let's see. And then, here we go. You know, th this is interesting. This is probably one, one of the few group buys that I've noticed that not only shows the dust mat, but shows the keyboard on the dust mat, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Look at that. But yeah, you guys have until when? Let me read, let me read this really quick. You guys have until August 31st as well, the same day that cat expires. All right, next up, next up is a key set on Canon keys. Here we go. This is actually, let me post that other link again really quick. I'm trying my best to post the link before and after I talk about them, just in case people come in late or miss the link. So yeah, that's that's the link for GMK Oni. And the next one is for Canon Caps Zero. This is Canon Keys, I guess it's their quote unquote namesake, namesake key set. Um, they, they, they have partnered with a new manufacturer, hopefully someone a lot better than, than ePBT to bring you PBT keycaps with very little warpage. Um, I say very little warpage instead of zero warpage because I don't believe any PBT set has zero warpage. Even my, even my, my um, Gateron PBT set that I really absolutely love there is some warpage on the on the backspace key and on the shift key. So yeah, as I'm gonna say that his set is gonna be, is gonna exhibit very little warpage, but if you guys are looking for a decent monochrome-like cherry PBT profile <coughs> keycap, this might be the set to get. Um, and another reason why it's good Let's check it out. It's 99 bucks for the base kit. And the base kit covers full size and a bunch of other miscellaneous layouts. You've got Sangin, you've got HHKB, you've got 75%, 65% support, all for 99 bucks. And you've even got novelties. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see, where was the one with the satisfaction? Here we go, this one. Oh, that's not the satisfaction. That's the Chimera, I think. Where's the satisfaction? Here we go, that's the one. That's the Satisfaction 75. Very pretty, very pretty. Um, you've, we've got until September 1st to purchase this. And check it out. Estimated date of delivery is February 2021. So still a bit delayed, I think. Like what, that's just, that's still um, six months away. That's still half a year away. That seems, that, that seems more excessive than keycap group buys from like 2019. So I would say that's still, that's still a delayed delivery date. Cool beans. So yeah, here we go. If you guys are interested in purchasing a nice PBT Cherry profile set, Please consider Canon Cap Zero. All right, next up. Next up is on Kono. Key sets on Kono. Here we go. This is Cat Cyberspace. If you did not like Cat Iron, rest assured there is another cat set. This one's Cat Cyberspace. Um I'd say this might be more popular than iron, to be honest. It's because the colors are more, what do you call that? 
they seem to fit a variety of keyboards a lot better. And as always, check out the number of kits there. That's like 20 kits available. All, each kit, all under 50. And of course, you can cover a full-size board or, yeah, I think you can cover a full-size board with a little over 100 bucks. Check it out, check it out. $31.99 for the novelties. Pretty cool. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the that's the snap together case that's like what 30 bucks. There you go, 60% keyboard case, that's it, that's it. For 30 bucks you can snap together your own keyboard case. Don't expect it to be like as good as a aluminum 60% case, but I think it would give you a pretty decent sound. <laughs> Zark says sigh, 700 Australian dollars later. <laughs> I know, this This is a hobby, but you're just like, oh, that's cheap. That's only like 20 bucks. I'm gonna add that, 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 that. Oh crap, I'm at 700. <laughs> All right, okay, what's next? Let's go, let's see. Someone asked me on stream not too long ago, which kit would I do for Cat Cyberspace? Um, I would probably do the... Which one was it? The Dayglo. Nope, not Dayglo. I do not like Dayglo at all. Was it... No, not, not Cyrillic. I'd probably do Katakana. Katakana along with the text mods. And I'd do that. I'd do that. The key company says, hello, 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 key company. Thanks for joining in. Very cool. And check out that desk mat, guys. If you are a fan of the Matrix, this might be a desk mat for you. Speaking of the Matrix and Keanu Reeves, I, be I believe, what, Bill? Bill and Ted face the music is out. <laughs> If you guys like that series, make sure you check it out. I believe they are streaming it and also at, at select theaters. Not sponsored by them, obviously, but maybe one day. <laughs> All right, once again, that is Cat Cyberspace. A Better Player says it's super funny, very good. I will probably watch it sometime next week. Looking forward to it. I watched the first two when I was a lot younger <laughs> so I can't actually remember all all the specific plot details of of both movies so I might have to rewatch them before I watch this third one all right next up next up is EPBT blank pink if you guys are looking for pink keycaps this might be the one to get Check that out, that is 50 Canadian dollars, and if I'm not mistaken, 50 Canadian dollars is roughly 35, 40 bucks. Super cheap, and this is what you guys get. Check out the compatibility with that. You can cover a full-size board, pretty much Sangin, wind keyless, 75%, 65%, awesome. Better player says it's 40 USD, thank you. Talisman Solutions as a poor substitute for blank, but not for the price. This is very good. This is, this is a very good price. Static says it's a pretty nice shade of pink, to be honest. I would agree with you. Um, I just wish that I liked pink more, because this seems like a really good deal. Oh look, he labels all of the keys. To you, 1.25, 1.5. Earth Sojourner says, first time here, been watching your YouTube videos. Thank you, thank you for joining. So tonight is my scuffed stream. I am reporting from a hotel. <laughs> 168 Raiders from Alex Sotos have joined. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Alex Sotos, for sending people my way on my scuffed stream. Let's see, I see a uh, BB Lou. Sweet Red Peppers, Tiggs, Trey Pop, 
Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Hotel Raid, I know, right? Hotel Raid, yeah. For those of you tuning in for the first time, this is not how the Sunday streams look. I'm currently in the middle of travel. I am at a very limited setup. I'm using the, the hotel's internet, which is currently clocking at, get this. Well, when, when I checked it an hour ago, I had a download of 30 megabits per second, and my upload was at six. So I'm, I, I'm honestly kind of surprised that the stream is going right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I bring any keybs on vacation? If you execute the exclamation point keyboard command, you will find out what keyboard I'm using right now. The Earth Sojourner says, thank you for these weekly updates. Not terrible for hotel Wi-Fi. Not terrible at all, especially since this is a much older hotel, in my opinion. See? <laughs> oh yeah. You guys are executing the keyboard command. Most, most expensive keyboard in my lineup. <laughs> it's the most expensive keyboard that I have. <laughs> Jabated. You you know it. You know it. <laughs> Twenty six hundred keyboard AK one attached to my MacBook Pro. <laughs> you know, okay. One thing about this keyboard though is that it's got lots of switch chatter. And unfortunately you can't just replace keys like you would on a regular mechanical keyboard. You actually need to replace the entire keyboard and some of the circuitry under it. So it's 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 not a very it's not a very easy process. Good thing it's not really my laptop. <laughs> Gotta love those butterfly switches. I know, right? All right, all right. Once again, the last thing I was talking about was EPBT Blank Pink that you guys can all go check out. That's on ApexKeyboards.ca. If you want blank caps. And don't mind the color pink. Definitely check them out. All right, let's see. What's the next keycap that is ending this week? It is, here we go. I think this one's probably of interest to a lot of people. If you have ever missed out buying additional keycaps for your, for your split keyboards or, or, or you just want more space bars, this might be the solution. So over on HeineBush.com, he's selling quite a few spacebar sets of different colors. You've got CC and N9, you've got L9 and U9, and you've got CP and CR. All of these cost about 25 bucks. These are these are these are great pricing. Check it out. And you can all and you can get all three kits and save six dollars. I kind of want to ask him, hey, Heine, if I buy three of one set, can I also save six bucks? <laughs> but yeah, I will most likely be purchasing a CP and CR Space Keys kit just because I could use a little bit more space bars for my GMK Merlin set. So def definitely check that out. You've got until September 4th to purchase this. So just a few more days. That's that's. That is Thursday, if my calculations are correct. Check it out. Let's see, CP and CR, I think, oh God, I don't even remember like what, what key sets use those colors. L9 and U9, does, does anyone know? N9, I think N9 was used in Oblivion, if I'm not mistaken. And CP is used for GMK Merlin and also for GMK Olivia. Let's see, I, I wish he, he would put a chart here. A chart that tells you what the colors would support. Let's see, a better player says L9 is for a 9009. Cool beans. Anyone know what the U9 is? I can't remember. CP is for minimal as well. So CP is good for minimal, Olivia, and Merlin. Oh, Agilar just corrected him. Minimal is WS1. Let's see. CC and N9. 
Man, I just don't know what what key sets use them. Oh well. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this set, here, let me give them a much shorter link this time around. Go, this is Heine Bush's own website, GMK OG Space Keys, round two. Each one sells for about 25 bucks and you have until September 4th to purchase them. Very cool. All right, let's see, what's the next, what's the next one that's expiring? Here we go, GMK Dolch Row 5 on Project Keyboard. Here we go. This one also expires September 4th, so lots of things expiring September 4th, actually. Um, here we go. Oh, there we go. Alpha CC and CP and modifiers N9 and CP, which will definitely match with high knee sets right here. N9, CC, cool, very cool. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a Dolch set, definitely check this out. Keep in mind, this isn't like any other Dolch set. This is not, not only does, does it have the option to buy Hangul Legends, like so, but it is also row five. So do, do keep in mind. Do keep in mind when you buy this. Check it out. I do want to purchase this because I have an old Dolch Pack 60 that's missing Dolch keycaps. So who knows, if I happen to find money within the next couple days, I may purchase this. We'll see. See, BB Lou says, I'm ahead to bed. Good night. Good night to you too, and thanks for joining in. Check it out. That looks really good. I like that green. I like that green a lot. Who knows? Maybe I will find some money. We'll see. Do you find money often? Um, I usually find it during payday. <laughs> I usually find it during payday or when people donate to my Twitch and stuff like that. <laughs> Captain Ladies Man says, you find it under your bed, under the couch. Wish we could print money. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, I still keep the very first dollar that I like ever made, but the police keep the money or the police keep the machine I made it with. <laughs> All right, let's see. D Nasty says he uses his large wooden stick to farm magic to multiply his money. <laughs> Wait for red pocket money from family members. That's only if you're unmarried. That's only if you're unmarried. My wife just looked at me and she looks very appalled. <laughs> yes, honey, we don't get money anymore because we're married. In fact, we're the ones who need to give money. <laughs> We're the ones who have to give the money now. She shakes her head at me. <laughs> Let's see, archery so, so archery process so random. How I just find money in my bank account on payday? Yeah, that that is so random. Can't believe it. Can't believe it at all. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What's next? What is next? Oh yeah. Don't forget to paste the link, Merlin. Captain Ladies Man says, you are married. Yes, I am married. Xenophobia says, wow, I actually barely heard Mrs. Merlin. Don't they pin it to you on your wedding day? Our wedding day was six years ago. <laughs> the donate link isn't working for you? Really? It should just be streamlabs.com slash MacMerlin. Oh, Z says, I noticed tonight he's saying he's going to buy a lot less size that because he has company. <laughs> no. No, I, I usually only try to buy one or two sets a month, if any. I'm very selective on the sets that I purchase. 
<laughs> D nasty says Cena Vovia, she came on stream for Bento day one. Yeah, that's true. Rock Doctor says, How did your wife first react to how much this hobby costs? She's laughing. Here, honey, did you wanna comment really quick? Here, let me pull out my lapel. You you, you don't wanna comment? <laughs> Okay, she does not want to comment, but she is laughing at me. Okay. All right. Let's see. I, I Did I link it already? I, I don't think I did. All right, let's link it and let's move on to the next thing on our list. There we go. That is GMK Dolch Row 5 on Project Keyboard. Let's see. What's the next one? Ah. Keyboards. Now, before we move on to keyboards, just wanted to ask the crowd here, out of all the key sets that I talked about tonight that are expiring this week, by the way, which ones are you most interested in? Once again, just to go really quickly, that is Dixie Max GMK Minimal Round 2. That's SA Oblivion, also Round 2, followed by GMK Bento. Um, Cat Iron, GMK Oni, Ken Cap Zero, Cat Cyberspace, EPBT Blank Pink, Heine Space Bar Kits, which isn't really a key set, I guess, and GMK Dolch. Let's see, I see a couple of people talking here. Archery Pro wants to do minimal, Longenberry is Oblivion, Veyer is Cyberspace, SA Oblivion, Let's see, Bento Revival, Bento, X Reaper wants CC0, Oblivion Cyberspace as Earth Sojourner, Talisman says, I'm holding out for Cat Monochrome. Ah, yes, we will be talking about that. Hot Love Monkey, nice name. Went with Bento and Cat Iron. Note Makoti, Copped Cat Cyberspace, very cool. Very cool. Zark says, what is that link here? Let's post, let's, let's click on that link. That is a very interesting board. Is this the board that you designed? Very cool. <laughs> we will save that for later. <laughs> Vro Timmy says, Cyberspace, Static H says, I picked up enough Cyberspace to cover a 40s board in TKL. Very nice, plus the B-Box 60 case. I think I might just get the B-Box 60 case. Maybe not so much on the cyberspace. R3 Pro says, are you allowed to say minimal if you've already spent 250 on the set? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Is it still a minimal set if you've bought all of it? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see, Brave Lions is waiting on Cat Mizu. Licky Lips wants GMK Calcium. That is a set I have not heard of, actually. Very cool. Very cool. Longenberry wants Bento as well. Very cool. Very cool, all right. Yeah, it's like end of the month, beginning of the month is usually the fun time because it's like everything is either ending or starting dur during that time period. All right, let's talk about keyboards that are ending. There's actually only two this week. The first one you guys have already seen, and I just talked about it last week. It was one of the ones I missed last week. This is the Hatchet Zero One for $485. Check it out. It is a very generic looking board. I, I will say that. <laughs> It's got, here, let's see if there's better photos, which there are not, by the way. It is, it's got a hatchet base, whatever that means. It uses a KBD 65% hot swap for ANSI boards or soldered for ISO, um, M2 screws and hex key, and rubber feet. I suspect that the high price here is more a reflection of the amount of material that goes into it than the actual design and the aesthetics of the board. And I just realized I forgot to paste the link. So here we go. That's it, if you guys are interested. And if you guys have 485 bucks burning a hole in your wallet, definitely check it out. 
Look at that. Um, honestly, a board that has built in wrist rest, really not my style just because I don't use a wrist rest. <laughs> and based on the photos he's showing right now, it looks super generic, super generic. 485 bucks is 15 bucks shy of an iron 165. Also 15 bucks shy of a key cult even. So yeah, think really hard before you purchase this. Man then boss socks has 485 plus customs plus shipping. Absolutely. Rass says I don't like tray mounts. I agree with you on that. Agree with you on that. Let's see. The group buy does end on September 4th. So if this happens to be a board that you really do like, Friday. Buy it by Friday and have 485. Lucid Dirt says that's a no. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Next board that is expiring this week. Boom, is the disarray. This one is probably a board that a lot of people like. If, you, if you've been living under a rock, you may not have heard that CFTKV, run by Cozy Fanatuti, has been selling boards such as the Discipline 65, the, the Dissy Pad, the Mysterium, the Romeo. In fact, I've given away a few of those on this stream. Um, people have been using those PCBs and creating cases around them, such as the Protozoa, which I think ended l last week. And now we have stuff like the Disarray. This one is highly inspired by boom boxes. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. 280 bucks will get you a case, but not the PCB. This is a top mount. This is a top mount keyboard. Check it out. Very cool. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Here, let's, let's, let, let's configure something. I would probably pick a red one. Red one plus red and black. No, actually red, red and silver. Windows screw color. Let's keep that brass. Rotary knob color, brass. Disarray PCB options. You can do ortho or staggered. Interesting, I thought it, that it only ever came in staggered. So let's do staggered. Staggered with special edition black FR4. Brass plate, yeah, let's do a brass plate. Rotary encoder type, notched. I like notched. How much is that going to cost? Boom. That is going to cost me... $440. Oof. But that is still cheaper than the Hatchet 01. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is definitely a board that I really like but don't think it's wise to to purchase right now but look at that that is so cool you can carry your keyboard around just by holding that top handle right there <laughs> i like it i like it a lot why so expensive um just because like like it's its base cost is 280 which is what i would expect it to be but yeah, that's an aluminum case. Comes with a brass plate and CNC'd and all that. So that's, that's probably why it's really expensive. When are we gonna get rotary coder support in VIA? That is a very good question. I've been wondering myself because there are quite a few boards with rotary encoder already. The hatchet needs that handlebar <laughs> easier to swing. <laughs> Oh gosh, look at that. I want it, but not for $480 or for 440 bucks. It's a bit too much. I can just imagine people walking into a meetup, carrying these on their shoulder, be like, hey, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> and if this PCB has a speaker option, you could actually play some tunes with it. <laughs> All right, that 
Those are the only two keyboards that I know of that are expiring this week. So yeah, uh, out of the two, which ones are you guys most interested in? The Hatchet 01 or the Disarray? Mac Fix and Chelsea's getting a plonk and wanting a rotary encoder on it was my inspiration to figure out QMK CLI. Nate says, neither, but disarray if I had to choose. I'm I suspect most of you will choose the disarray over the hatchet. Scott Water says saving money. X Reaper is passing on both, but X Reaper, to stay true to your name, you need some kind of Hatchet or like a sky. <laughs> Raz says, are we doing only ending group buys today? We are only doing ending group buys on the first half of the show. Long and Barry says, none, because I'm broke, but disarray is greater than hatchet. Archery Pro says, I guess disarray. Disarray, disarray, disarray. I would buy the disarray if my wallet was not in disarray. All right, let's see. Just to recap that, let's throw that link in chat once again. Man Then Basque says, ready to, imagine watching this at 3 a.m. Static H, it sounds like we are ready to bury the hatchet. <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, but yeah, just to recap that really quick, group buys that are ending this week for keyboard wise at least, is the Hatchet 01 ending on September 4th, followed by the Disarray, which is also ending September 4th, if I'm not mistaken, but let's just read this really quick. No, not September 4th, September 5th. So that's Saturday, Saturday, there we go. There we go, all right guys. I believe, well, at least based on my research, those are the only group buys that are ending this week. Now let's transition to group buys that are starting. Anyway, hope you guys like my little picture here, like separating each half of the stream from the ending to the starting. I figured it's like good for me too, because when I'm editing the video afterwards, it's easier to search for these things than it is to like watch myself talk and be like, did I talk about that before I transitioned to starting? Or is that starting one, the one that immediately followed the ending? Not sure, not sure, not sure. <laughs> ah, a couple more follows. Coca Storm, Coca Storm. Thanks for following. In fact, I'm drinking Coca and Honey Cold Brew tonight. <laughs> Archie Pro says, wow, Merlin has 160 viewers. Thank you. Thank you so much. And a lot of that tonight is from Alex Sotos from sending his raid my way. So Alex Sotos, if you're still watching, thank you once again. Thank you once again. All right, guys. Let's see, what, what group buys are starting? What group buys are starting? Boom, here we go. Let's start off with GMK Posh, oh yeah. Just to remind you guys, a lot of these links that I'll be posting are not actual links to the group buy because these most likely have not started. But if you are watching this on YouTube, which a majority of people most likely will, um, hopefully I would have gotten around to updating all of the links to the appropriate shops. But here we go, here we go. This is GMK Posh, a purple and pink set. If you look at this and you're like, I feel like I've seen that before. Um, some people have described it as very similar to Bento. Personally, I still like Bento better. And when I first saw this, when I first saw this on stream, or not on stream, because I'm the one doing the stream, <laughs> but when I first read about this, I immediately thought of Posh Spice. <laughs> and yes, Way back in the day, I did use to listen to the Spice Girls. No shame, no shame in that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Colors are custom, except for the space bar. 
So the pink is RAL 3015, the navy is 5022, and the white is CP. Once again, that is something you can definitely fill up using Heine Bush's space keys and all that. Note McCody says, Spice Girls are valid. <laughs> if, if you want to be my keyboard. <laughs> nice, Lu Lucid Derp. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. This is the base kit. Let's take a look at that. I actually think this is a really good looking set. Re really well done, in my opinion. Let's see. He seems to have all of the standard layouts covered. You got full size, 75, 65. You've got Sangin. Yeah. Yeah, I think most of that is covered. There we go. And of course, you have alternate alphas as well. I would say that the pink on white doesn't look nearly as good as the regular ones, mainly because I can't see it. Yeah, there we go. Alt mods are all pink. I, I think that looks good. That looks pretty good. And of course, the 40s kit. Zach Key says, sup Merlin, sup to you too. Nate says, wondering if I should have passed on minimal for this though. Um, I think I would have, but if you like minimal better than this, then more power to you. You said, this set is super clean, I just have no need for it. But do you really have a need for any of the key sets that I've talked about? Yes, you do. You absolutely do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Spacebar kits as well. Novelties. Let's look at these novelties. I see hearts. <laughs> Instead of push, it says posh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's also a very small novelties kit. So hopefully that's going to be less than 50 bucks. Let's see what else. There you go. Renders on a TGR Jane. Looking pretty good. Let's see, the Bach. That actually looks really good on the Bach. And if that's one of the dust mats that they're offering, that's, that's pretty superb. I'd say that looks very posh. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here are the alternate kits. Hey, now that I'm looking at that, that actually doesn't look too bad. That actually looks really good. Ah, ah. See, Static Age says, I have socks that match that dust mat. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I don't think, I don't think it looks that good on a 75. For some, re for, for some odd reason, it doesn't look good on a 75 that's all scrunched up together. Let's see, what else? Hopefully there's a 75 with exploded function row. Oh, there we go, iron 165. No, wait, that's, yeah, that's the iron 165. Dust mats. I think I prefer the bottom two dust mats better. The pink and the white. Archery says it low key looks horrible on the 75. Glad to see someone else agrees with me. <laughs> see, all the collaborations Prime Caps, Sodi Caps, everyone here. Very cool. To do list dust mat prices. Looks like it's going to be on Kono, Dusk Hero, Daily Clack, Candy Keys, TikTok and Z Frontier. And the pricing is on the more expensive side. Look at that base kit, seems to be 140 bucks. Alphas are 85, mods are 104. The novelties are 50. Sh no, wait, wait. Novelties are here on the bottom, 47.99. Indeed less than 50, but still on the more expensive side for the number of keys actually offered. Let's see, very cool, very cool. There we go. Let me post the link for you guys again. 
I believe this kit is starting on September 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Starting September 1st, yes, September 1st, that puts us on Tuesday. This starts Tuesday. Saki says, a bit too expensive in my opinion. All right, next set. The next set is also on Geek Hack still, just because it hasn't gone live quite yet. This one is GMK Euro going live on September 1st. This is another set that I think looks really good. Oh wait, GB page is live. Let's just, let's just click on that. Let's just click on that. There we go. Group by September 1st. What is the abstract? Yuru Camp is an anime I thoroughly enjoyed. Ah, another Wii Base set. <laughs> another Wii Base set. There seems to be a lot of them lately. Not that that's a bad thing. Here we go. Base kit going for 135. Hiragana also 135. Extensions for 40. Novelty 60. Emote 26, Dustmat 17, and Puppies. Puppies Rama 38, very cool. Um, personally, I think this is a very good looking set. I'm, I'm glad to finally see it enter a group buy. It does kind of remind me of Infiniki Port, which I personally really like. Like, right now, just looking at this right now, if you were to change the accent keys to like a very drab yellow, that would be Infiniki Port. Let's see. A little piece says weeb set. Agilor says, hey, that's me. That is indeed you. <laughs> there we go, see? Look, look, that's him. That's him. All right. Let's see. I have never watched this anime, but maybe I will after this after the stream. Who knows? <laughs> S S Silver Ryan says, I saw this colorway on a blue board and it killed it. Really? Maybe there's a render of one. Look at that. Novelty set. Novelty set will probably only make sense to you if you've watched the anime, but this is a fairly large novelty set. Look at all that. Accessories, dust mat. <laughs> Can you actually buy a a scarf and a hat? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so cute. So cute. So cute. Oh, there we go. Board renders. That's what I'm looking for. Very good. These renders look really good, by the way. They almost look like the real thing, especially with the lighting. <laughs> this looks like a board that was taken on a park bench on a very sunny day. Very nice. There we go. On black, hmm. I don't think it looks nearly as nice on black as it did on a silver case or on a maroon case. Very nice. Here we go. The black one. Yeah, the black doesn't really... Um, yeah, I personal, personally, I don't think this set looks good on black. On blue, it looks good. Oh my gosh, that does look great. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, good thing I got a blue 7V. So, okay, gosh, this might be one of the sets I pick up next month. We'll see, we'll see. On a Teemo on green? Um. Not sure if a green board would work on it either. Actually, that does look fairly decent. So maybe, maybe, maybe. So that black doesn't look too good for me. There we go. Polycarb? Polycarb looks good too. So, so Ryan says, yes, Merlin, you know, I saw that blue 7V with it and died. <laughs> look at that. Not green. See, Polycarb? The Polycarb looks good. See, white looks good on it too, but just 
this this colorway with this with the whiteboard really reminds me of Infiniki port there we go let's see on a ergo board like so um I think it still looks good red red looks good too there we go very cool well Adler, I'm glad that you are on stream tonight there we go I'll post that in chat once again that is GMK Yuru selling on Canon keys here in the in the United States on September 1st of course there, there are other po proxies in place as well such as dust hero my keyboard Z frontier and daily clack so yeah keep in mind because these are GMK sets delivery date will be sometime next year probably September who knows <laughs> very cool all right next up next up is a reddit post for cat mizu there we go cat mizu if you guys really like mizu like me but don't really like sa profile this is your chance this one this set is going live also september 1st let's look at the renders really quick right here there we go that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> so never mind. Never mind. There we go. For kits, click here. Let's click. There we go. In Inuit Alpha's full moon. Cool, cool, cool. Full moon mods. Yeah, this this is a set that I might have to pick up, but oh gosh, I feel like there's there's like so much there's so much going on every month that it's it's just impossible to get everything that you want. Why can't I get everything that I want? Why? Why? Let's see the novelties look pretty good too. Look at that. Oh, I love those space bars. Oh my gosh. Oh, he says just pot bought SA Misu, so not for me. Yeah, the, this these novelties look great, man. I would buy this novelty set just for the space bars. That's really cool. Very cool. Blood Moon set. Honestly, I don't think the Blood Moon fits very well. It's. I don't know. I just feel. I just don't like it. It feels too much like what's that set? It, it wasn't a Blotsky set. It was um, Yuri makes it really look like Yuri. I feel like if if you mixed, I feel like if you mix the mods for the Blood Moon along with the alphas of regular Mizu, it would look very similar to GMK Yuri. So you would have Cat Yuri. There we go. You got some accent space bars as well. And a space bar kit. And a French kit. Interesting. Ro Timmy says, looks like I might get Cyberspace and Mizu. Now Mizu is one of my favorite sets, so yeah, I would absolutely jump on this if money happens to show up in my bank account. <laughs> Full moon mods, very cool. Any pricing listed? I I would imagine that pricing is very similar to all the cat sets that Canon Keys has sold so far. So all kits will, will be less than 50. To cover a TKL 65, 75, you'd spend like about 80 to, 80 to like 90 bucks. All that good stuff. But yeah, if you guys wanna find more information, follow this Reddit post and definitely tune in to Canon Keys and associated vendors by September 1st to make your purchase. Talisman says it's obviously a knockoff Olivia. Basically everything is knockoff Olivia. Let's see. Oh look, for Mizu hoodie or shirt, I might have to buy one of these. 
Look at that. Well, that might be a little too outlandish for me, to be honest. <laughs> might be a little too outlandish for me. So how about, how about the shirt? What's the shirt like? Okay, the shirt's more more acceptable. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I guess all, all the design is on the back. So yeah, that's that's fine. I could probably do the shirt, but the hoodie, I I think I think that hoodie is way too much. Way too much for me. <laughs> And yes, Bag of Olives says that's expensive for a shirt hoodie. Yeah, it's 79 bucks. 79 bucks for this hoodie. You could buy, you could probably almost buy an entire cat kit. <laughs> Very cool. All right, oh, for prices, click here. There we go. Those are all the prices. And as you can see, Everything but the mods is under 50. The mods is 60 bucks. Very good pricing right there. Desk mats, the Koi desk mat is back and it's $17. And you've got Rama caps at 43, 42, and 38. Pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. For renders, let's go look at renders. Let's look at some renders here. Ah, of course, the Satisfaction 75. Very pretty. I will have to say that I think the Legends on SA Mizu look much better than the Cat Mizu Legends. Ah, very pretty dust mats. Yeah, I will continue saying it. I don't think the Blood Moon one looks really good. The Blood Moon colorway just doesn't do it for me at all. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, this this one's good. This one's good. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, that's space bar. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that space bar. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. We'll see if money shows up in my bank account and I'll buy this. All right, let's see. What's the next? Actually, here. Let me post this back in chat for all of you who missed the link. Boom. There we go. All right, let's go through. What's the next group buy that's starting? Here, let's close these. Close, 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 close. Next group buy that is starting is Cat Monochrome. Another cat set. Here we go. If you guys are looking for a black and white set, this might be the set to do. Look at that. This is a very, quote unquote, gentleman-like set. <laughs> I think it looks good. Though it's funny, it's like you, you would imagine that this is a set that would have come out earlier, especially for Cat. So I'm, well, nonetheless, I'm glad to see it finally come out. Look at that. You can also have white on black Cat. Static Age says if Sherlock Holmes and James Bond make a keycap set. Very cool. Oh, Hangul, Hangul Alphas. Very cool. Oh, Zuing, Zuing Alphas. Seems pretty good. So many kits though, so many kits. Oh gosh, it's like I'm scrolling forever here. Oh, there we go, finally got to the renders. Oh, there's even the modifiers. Holy cow. Okay. We're not going to click on all of them. Others. I'm going to be scrolling for an eternity. But here, look. Look at that. That that looks really good. That's... Keep in mind, this is... This looks very similar to another set I was talking about. Except this one is in cat. 
And the other set I was talking about was actually Cherry Profile Canon Caps Zero. If you don't like Cherry Profile but still like the monochrome look, this might be the set to get. And check it out, you've got an interesting dust mat here. You've got beards, bow ties, top hats, neckties. What, what is that? A pocket watch, an umbrella, and a pipe. <laughs> Kind of cute, kind of cute. And here we go, it's a monocle, monocle and a mustache. There we go, a couple, couple more, couple more renders here. I think the black, the white on black looks really good. There we go, let's see, vendors. Here's where you want to go depending on your region. MyKeyboards.eu, Prototypist, TX Keyboards, Apex Keyboards, and Z Frontier. Very cool. In terms of pricing, yeah, everything's, oh, that's not gonna help you guys. Let's just keep it at that, unzoomed in. Everything seems to be about 35 bucks. Oh, there's so many of them, let's see. The one I'm most interested in is Zooing Zuying is, think of it as like the Mandarin alphabet, used primarily in Taiwan. Where is it? Here we go, here we go. Zuying is going to be 35 bucks. Not bad. I may have to pick those up. Cool beans. All right, guys. If cat monochrome is something that interests you make sure you read through the geek hack page right here and be ready to purchase it when it goes on group buy at september 1st all right next up next up gmk red devils here we go if you missed out on Haman and did not like the Haman theme, this might be the set to get. <laughs> not quite Haman colors, but you guys get the point. They're all red, all white on red. This one is Korean GMK Striker. Oh no. <laughs> and Vesta says like literature. Yeah, I know, right? Like, cause it's got Hangul on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, imagine if you had GMK Striker in this and you put it on the same board. I think that would actually look pretty good. Probably like red alphas and blue modifiers or the other way around. <laughs> very cool. Look at that. I, I think that's actually a very good idea for a key cat. That's a very good idea. I might want to buy this. I might just buy this keycap alone. So lately I've been watching Korean dramas with my wife. In fact, my wife is watching a Korean drama right now. Which one are you watching? I forgot the name. Wait. She says she forgot the name. A romance is a bonus book. Okay, probably watch it with her once the stream is done. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Look at this dust mat, looks good. Looks very good actually. Renders by Jing Lad. I know, it's, it's, it's a little too red for me to be honest. All right. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go post that in chat again. If you guys are interested in a Korean GMK striker, <laughs> a Korean GMK striker, this might be the set to do. It does have that striker pop to it, says Andy. Here we go. Next set. Next set. GMK White Wolf. 
There we go. GMK White Wolf going on sale September 4th till October 2nd. Check it out, guys. This is a Witcher based set. Witcher themed set, I'd say. Look at it. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> These mods, uh, these um, novelties are really nice looking as well. I kind of just, I think I might just get the novelty set so I can get that white wolf icon for my escape key. It looks really nice. <laughs> who knows, who knows. Witcher signs are made using the caster's fingers which the dot circles are meant to represent. Interesting, that's great attention to detail right there. Look at these space bars. There we go. Let's look at these renders. That is the 7V once again. 7V by Gawk. Oh yes, that's the key that I want. I really like that. Really like that. See, Leo says, I like that purple. You're probably talking about this one. I would agree with you, that color, that purple color is really nice. It's actually a purple that I can see a lot of. <laughs> Here we go. Is it just a 7V that they have? Yep, there's another 7V, a white 7V. I think it looks great. Man, I feel like I feel like almost every GMK set I've talked about that starting looked great. Except for Red Devils. I'm not I'm not too big a fan of the Red Devil set. But yeah, this set will be on Dixie Mech starting September 4th. If you guys are a big fan of the Witcher series, um, definitely look into it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, next one is a oh, that's keyboards actually. So let's talk. Let's let's go ask the audience again. Out of all the key sets that I talked about today that are starting, which ones are you most interested in? Once again, just to recap, that is GMK Posh. Followed by GMK Yuru. Followed by, oh, GMK Yuru again. No, <laughs> followed by Cat Misu. Followed by Cat Monochrome. GMK Red Devils. And GMK White Wolf. Which ones are you guys most interested in? Let's see, D Nasty says Pepsi Rama Camp. Scott Water says Cat Mizu. Archery Pro says Red Devils. Silverian says Yur. Yuru. You really gonna buy all of them? <laughs> Talisman says Monochrome. And Bessa says Mizu. Forest says White Wolf. White Wolf 2. Mizu. I think. I think out of all the ones that I've talked about right now, um, I'm I'm most interested in Posh or Yuru. Those those are the two. But as much as I like Yuru, since I already bought Infinity Port, I don't want to have too many sets that are similar in color. So who knows? I might I might just buy novelties from Yuru. We'll see. We'll see. See, D Nasty says, I I slept on Hammerhead, now I regret. Hammerhead was really good. I I almost bought that set, but I looked at it and I was just like, oh, that is too pricey for me, and I'm saving up money for a bento. So yeah, it did not happen. That's why I did not get Hammerhead. I might have to wait for round two or risk buying it on the aftermarket. Aaron Battery says, Mizu will be my first cat set. 
you are going to like CAT, especially if you liked SA, but you wish that you could type better on it. CAT is going to surprise you. I feel like it's, I feel like it gives me the look of SA, but with the type ability of Cherry, if you know what I mean. Let's see, Jank says, I saw a set of SA Mizu going for 750 on the aftermarket. Oh my gosh, why would you pay 750 for a key set? That's so much money. Andy JKM says, Hammerhead Dark looks so good. Is Cat slightly lower than Mizu? Uh, oh, you mean Cat versus SA. Cat is slightly lower than Mizu, but it's also sculpted differently. <laughs> Very cool. All right, yeah, I think most people here wanted to go for Cat Mizu, which is a very good choice in my opinion. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's talk about keyboards that are starting. I think there were a few of them this time around. Oh, that's monochrome. Here we go. Actually, no, there's also only two keyboards that are starting. Here we go. This is the J01. J01, if you guys don't know who J is, J is one half of the Top Clack duo. They stream every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There we go. Love Misu, can't wait to get it. Was Misu R3? Um, kind of, but they are running Misu in different profiles. There we go. But yeah, let's talk about this board. This is the J01. You guys have never seen the J01 before. It is basically a 65%. Oh, look at that. The Allison's right there. There you go. It is basically a 65% with separated out arrow keys, rightmost column, and macro keys on the left. Kind of similar to the Zenith, 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 except it's got more spaced out keys, I'd say. Look at that. Here, does he have any renders here? Here we go, pictures actually, because the board is already out there. Check it out, guys. Looks pretty good in my opinion. If you guys are wondering what this bar over here, it is a pencil hoarder. Look at that. I've seen three of these actually. They were at the NorCal and the SoCal meetups last year. Which is funny because there aren't that many of these around and seeing three of them all in one place is quite quite impressive. <laughs> Let's see, Jance. Jance says, not a huge fan of the pen rail. Ah. It does kind of give it like a vintage look to be honest. Like a modern board that has a vintage, random vintage look does seem to detract from the aesthetics. Look at that J right there, that's cute. Static H says we don't use pens around here. <laughs> there we go, look at that. That colorway looks good. I think that's a brass pen rail. Or maybe it's just a gold colored one. Here we go, here we go. Very cool. Very cool. Static says, what do you think the J is for? <laughs> All right, guys. So this board is actually fairly expensive, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Added dates and price for GB. I think this is a sub $400 board, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so much information. Can't find the right price. Oh, here we go. Colors, options. Hard to find, hard to find. Here we go, prices. Limited edition was 590. Standard edition, three color options was 510. All boards come with top case, bottom case, pen rail, <laughs> hard, hard carry case. Personally, I feel 
any board that you buy that's over like $300 should absolutely come with a hard case. <laughs> Carbon fiber plate, ISO or ANSI, and it comes with hardware. What does it mean by hardware? Does it mean like screws and stuff? Probably. PCB and daughter board and JST. Very cool. Once you purchase First Come First Serve, you'll get an email with the form to complete your preferences for color choices. Very cool. Very cool. All right. If you guys are interested, definitely check out that Geek Hack thread right there. Okay, next up. And the last one on our list for tonight. Actually, no. That's not true. I was just going to do, do, do a shout out to Zark's board here. You guys don't know who Zark is. Zark is one of our moderators on this channel and is also a collaborator with QMK, such as myself and Xenophobia and Yan, who appear on this channel quite, quite frequently. And you may have noticed that he's been talking about his boards for the longest time, saying he's finally going to make them. And I guess he finally did. So this is, this is one of his boards. Insert logo here. <laughs> From the looks of it, his PCBs, I think this means it's a reversible PCB. You can solder it on the, on the bottom or on the top. Very interesting. And looks like in-switch RGB. Per key in-switch RGB. Let's see, what else can we find out about that? That looks like a USB-C port on both sides. Uh, so much, so much, so much. That looks like a reset button, I think, of sorts. Reset button. Let's see, Zark says 240 by 320 color LCD. That That is insane. Dude, I would love to see this once you've, once you've fully built it up with keycaps and all that. And yeah, um, let me know if you, if you intend to make more than one of these, because this would be really cool. <laughs> Very cool. See, Nevin says, so this is the PCB for the test board you've been working on. Apparently it is. Apparently it is, that's pretty cool. And I'm assuming it's gonna run a ARM microcontroller, if I'm not mistaken. Do that. Very cool. Yeah, STM32, very nice. I like it. Cool beans. Powered by QMK firmware, nice. <laughs> I would love to see what case you, you design for this, but from the looks of it, I think you're starting off with just a Generic sandwich case, if I'm not mistaken. Generic sandwich case with standoffs on the bottom, all that stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, let's see. Normally, I have a audience section here, but because I am trying to finish earlier rather than later, um, I think I will skip that. But definitely, if you guys have any, any group buys that you think that I missed, if it's keyboard related, if it's a switch, it's a key set, either if it's ending this week or starting this week, definitely let me get, definitely let me know. Message me here on Twitch or on Discord and I will update it on this YouTube video once this goes onto YouTube and also on my Discord servers. There we go. Once again, just to recap everything we talked about, we went through 12 key sets that are ending and eight key sets that are starting. So yeah, guys, if this, is, if this is something that you guys are interested in, definitely please click those links that I sent. I'll try my best to put everything in chronological order in the description section down below. So all right, guys, thanks for joining in. I know this was a scuffed stream. Things probably jittered a lot more than usual today and the colors are not right. Like what, it's like looking at my stream right now, it's all yellow, that's because Every single light in this room is yellow. <laughs> yeah, I.
probably should have brought one of my colored LEDs. But oh well, oh well. Let's see, Raz says calcium. Raz, send me the link to that in chat and I'll post it in my Discord server. Earth Sojourner says thank you. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone for joining in and thank you once again to Alex Sotos for sending a huge number of people my way. For all of you guys watching this right now. Oh, look, bro, Timmy, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. And Vesta says, enjoy your vacay. Thanks for doing it all. Hey, man, it's only been, it's only like an hour and a half. So glad to do this. And plus, I'm fairly passionate about this as well. So thank you to everyone who joined in. Um, there are quite a few group rides I talked about. So definitely hit up the links that I'll be posting shortly. All right, everyone, hope you have a good start of your week. Make sure you keep your hands washed, cover your mouth when you cough, and I will see you maybe this Tuesday. We'll see. I don't think I'll be quite back on Tuesday yet, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, catch you next time. Bye-bye.